set of batteries over here mounted and I'm going to give you a rundown of the overall design and how things are put together. The system is not fully complete. I am missing the BMS which will go here. Um, uh, they'll, I'll have a matching BMS for each one of these packs and they will come, they come together in common on the main power switch. Um, but let me just give you a rundown on what we have here. This is a 7S um, 6 kilowatt pack and that is a 7S 6 kilowatt pack and they are parallel together running through the common power switch. Um, why didn't I do 48 volts? Well because all my gear here is designed for um, for 24 volt 7S configuration and my solar panels, I only have four solar panels and that's just barely enough to charge a 48 volt system so I'd rather keep everything at 24 volts because I originally bought my gear based on the 24 volt system and I'm going to keep a 24 volt system. Um, I'll just parallel up packs. So, like I said, this is 6 kilowatts, that's 6 kilowatts. Um, the batteries are all commoned together through their bus, you know, the, the bus bars come off, have a copper lug on the end, and they are bolted together. There is a balance lead which comes off every single pack and comes down to one of these Wago blocks. And then the Wago block is where I'll plug in, I'll plug in my, my balancer um, and my BMS over here. And then I always keep a secondary lead so I can plug in an external balancer like my ISDT Q8 or T8. Um, this side is already complete and you can see it. It has the BMS which goes into the Wago and then a secondary balance lead comes out. Um, like I said, the um, positives of both batteries come in and go to this main breaker. And then the negatives of both batteries run into the shunt, which acts as its common. And then all the power runs through the shunt and off to the uh, 2,500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, this is my Make Sky Blue solar charge controller. It is programmed for a 20 volt, 24 volt 7A system. This is my solar coming in from outside. It runs through this uh, breaker um, and into the, into the uh, solar charge controller. And then that comes back um, out, back through the main switch and into the batteries. If I break this main switch, it breaks both the solar and the BMA, I mean, and the inverter. Um, this is one of my ISVT um, monitors. It allows me to monitor the pack and do some balancing. Um, and I can either plug it, you know, I can plug it in on either side with the balance lead that plugs in there, or I can plug it in on this side. And then here's my main um, battery meter. It runs off the shunt here. And it, because the two batteries are coming together, it is actually reading the combined voltage of both packs and the draw of both packs from the inverter. Um, uh, because these two packs are parallel, if one pack discharges faster than the other, um, the larger pack will compensate. Um, luckily these are both 6 kilowatts, but again, because they are paralleled, the, um, the larger pack will actually feed the smaller pack. If you have off-size packs, you can parallel them up and the larger pack will, will, will substitute for the smaller pack and uh, they will stay in balance. Um, the, this is just a, I just built a wooden box and space the batteries apart so that the bus bars don't touch each other um, and then mounted it with a, with a piece of um, plywood on the wall. Um, I like to use the plywood because I drill lots of holes and move components around as I add them and you can see there's already more than a dozen holes all over this board as I have moved components around as I expand the system and change the system and by having a piece of plywood on the wall it allows you to quickly unscrew and rescrew components into the board um, without worrying about damage to the to the um, drywall. Um, so I definitely recommend if you do build a, a wall mounted system use a piece of um, ply on your wall so that you can just screw in components as necessary. I also do have a couple um, 
These are bus bars and they just provide a common source of 24 volts. So if I need a plus or negative, um, I can just tap right off here without having to go and tap into the, into the batteries. And um, as you can see, this is actually feeding the meter, providing the power to the meter, but it's just a source of power if I need to um, run some other devices like off DC current, I can run it right off these two bus bars. Um, I think that is an overview of the system. I, I, uh, I've, provide, I've provided links for all the stuff in prior videos if you uh, want to track down any of these items. Um, but I think that's just an overview of the system and when I get my BMS and I finalize the wiring, I will do one more update on the system.